What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to review a perfume from the house of Rassasi and here I'm talking about Al Ghaliya. Al Ghaliya is an Arabic word which means precious. Al Ghaliya is from Rassasi's Ta'lifa collection. Rassasi launched two perfumes in this collection. Al Ghaliya and the other one was Zurra if I'm pronouncing it right. I have no idea about the inspiration behind this perfume. But here in this video, I'm going to tell you that how this perfume actually smells. So let's start with the presentation first. You will get this perfume in this kind of box. It's thin and tall with this metallic sticker here with the name of the perfume Al Ghaliya with the Parfum and here Tolifa collection. I think on the sides, it's a solid box. And then in the back, you will find the logo of Rassasi and all ingredient details here in the back. And once you open this box, this is how it looks from the inside. And now let me show you the bottle. So the bottle comes in a velvety kind of pouch. And here you go. So this is a velvety pouch, which you will get with the bottle with this beautiful golden metal tassels here. And now let me show you the bottle. And the bottle here is beautiful. You will get this perfume in this beautiful bottle. You can see the curts around the bottle. And once again, that metallic sticker here with the name of the perfume, Al Ghaliya. And you can see the color of the juice. The cap here is made of metal and pretty heavy. And the atomizer is very nice. And the juice is amazingly good. It smells very nice. So this is the presentation. And now, uh, let me give you the notes breakdown and then I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells. So in the top, you will get Italian bergamo. Then there is rose, saffron, some smoky notes. In the mid, you will get amber wood and paraline. In the base, you will get akigala wood, musk and some woody note. So this is a sweet musky floral concoction. There is sweet jammy rose with saffron in the opening. This is a sweet kind of scent but it's not annoying. The sweetness is not annoying. So you will get sweet rose and saffron with a touch of oud. Oud is not mentioned in the notes breakdown, which is really strange, but I can smell some traces of oud here. So there is oud with beautiful jammy sweet rose and saffron in the opening with a touch of citruses just in the opening. Citruses will fade away in the next uh, 10 to 20 minutes. So a sweet rose kind of opening here with beautiful, sweet, warm, cozy saffron. And with all these beautiful notes, you will get a very beautiful note of paraline here. And paraline is going to give this perfume that gourmand kind of touch, but it's not going to change the whole concoction here. It's a still floral, musky and sweet kind of scent, but paraline gives it that touch of, of sweetness. And then you will get a very beautiful note of white musk here in the base. This is a linear kind of scent and it's not going to change a lot. It stays almost similar from start to end. And then the most beautiful thing here, which makes this perfume, which takes this perfume on the next level is the note of Ekigala wood. Ekigala wood is not very prominent here, but it's enough to give you that magical touch. So this is how this perfume actually smells. I'm really in love with this perfume. It's very nice. Uh, once you're going to smell it, it may remind you some fragrances from the house of Arabian Oud. May they got some kind of uh, similarities in uh, some of uh, these fragrances. But really, I'm not sure if this is exactly a clone of something or uh, I have uh, tested a few of my Arabian Oud uh, fragrances. Like after smelling this perfume, I checked uh, Andalusia from the house of Arabian Oud to see if these are similar. Few notes are similar here and there, but uh, overall these are different kind of scents. So do let me know if you guys have uh, figured out uh, the inspiration behind this scent, or if you have cracked the code and you know the perfume from the house of Arabian Oud, which smells uh, similar to this or this similar to that. So this was about the fragrance of Al Ghaliya. For me, I'm really enjoying it. And this is very beautiful. It's not fruity, but it gives you that fruity kind of vibe. It's sweet, jammy. Uh, with a touch of uh, saltiness here, some nuances of oud, and it's very nice. I'm really loving it. So this was about the scent, and now let's talk about the longevity and other aspects of this perfume. So performance-wise, this is great. This is monster. Longevity here is one day plus, and projection is beast for the first one and a half to two hours, and after that, gradually, it becomes soft, but it projects very well and even the sinaj is very good start with 8 to 10 sprays and you will be good to rock your whole day 
you will be projecting like a beast and people around you will be enjoying it so this was about the performance top notch 10 by 10 performance not an issue here gender wise this is a pure unisex scent ladies or gents anyone can rock it for the age group you should be around the age of 20 22 years and then it's going to suit you very well for the season or weather you can use this perfume all year round but the best experience will be in winters in summers you can use this perfume in indoors just don't go in the direct sunlight otherwise any kind of middle eastern uh, perfume will choke you if you go in the direct sunlight uh, for example nowadays the temperature is 45 plus it's near to 50 degrees centigrade so if i will wear this perfume and if i go direct in the sunlight of 50 degrees centigrade definitely it's going to choke you in this kind of outdoors uh, you can only enjoy citrusy and freshy kind of scents but these middle eastern gems are for indoors and for cool weather for cold weather and now let's come to occasion occasion wise this is a scent which can be used in any kind of scenario this perfume gives that rich kind of feel and it also gives you that a spiritual kind of feel so uh, in your prayers in your dates uh, in outdoors if you're going in a mall if you're going in a dinner or just if you're staying home in the weekends just rock this perfume and you will be loving it and a country like UAE where I live you can use this perfume in any kind of scenarios I can use this perfume in my office and all the people around me uh, they are really enjoying it they are loving it but different cultures have different kind of likings and dislikings so just experiment to know that if it works in your office or not but for me I am rocking it every day, everywhere, without any issue. And now let's talk about the price. So this perfume comes in a 100 ml quantity, if I'm not wrong. Yes, this is 100 ml. And the price of this perfume, the current price inside UAE is around 150 or 155 UAE dirhams from the store of Rassasi. So this price is really justified here because the quality of blending and material used here is really good. It's a high quality scent which smells very beautiful. So for me, it's worth each and every penny. I'm really loving it. So this was about Al Ghalia from Tolifa collection by Rasasi. I hope you like this review and test it out if it's near to you. If you have access to Rasasi stores, at least try it once and you will be loving it. So this is it. And I will catch you in my another episode with another great product. Until then, put your scent on, stay fragrant and take care. Bye.